Christianity began as a group of individuals who were called to follow Jesus. They owned no buildings, often met in homes, and had no organization except for God's Spirit and the Apostles. The point is, the early church had no church. In fact, they themselves were called the church. In a recent podcast, we observed that over time, Christianity's direction veered toward making church a destination. This led to a focus on the outward appearance of a physical place rather than the inward spiritual growth of those attending. This spiritually lacking approach could make going to church a counterproductive activity when it comes to being true disciples of Jesus. Am I in such a position of compromise? Click the link in the description to hear our recent podcast episode, Do Christians Have to Go to Church? We uncover the original meaning of church in the Bible. It's very different from what we're now used to. This meaning also leads us to several other descriptions of what being part of the church really means. Let's be clear, going to church should remain a vital part of a Christian's life. However, it's not for the purpose of fulfilling a social need or checking off the box of doing what's required. Join us as the scriptures unfold the amazing privileges and responsibilities that being part of the church requires. Follow these scriptures and church will never be the same. Thanks for watching another CQ Moments That Matter. Click below to subscribe and get updates on new videos.